Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. It is always fun to learn maths through activities. So today we have come up with an interesting and creative activity for you involving algebraic expressions. Here in this video we will learn how to subtract the given algebraic expressions. But before starting with this video, let me tell you that we have Many more such maths art integrated activities, projects and working models on our channel Learning Notebook. You can find the list of all of them on our website as well. The link to our website is below in the description box. For this activity, we need few colorful thick sheets, a ruler, a black marker pen, a pencil, a pair of scissors, and a bottle of glue. Aim of this art integrated project is to learn subtraction of two algebraic expressions with the help of an activity. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like, share and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook. Students, we also have separate videos on how to do addition and multiplication of algebraic expressions using these interesting and creative activities. I am sure you will find these videos very useful for you. The link to these videos are below in the description box. First, let's understand terms and factors. Terms are added to form expressions. Let's consider the expression 4x plus 5. This expression is made up of two terms, 4x and 5. Terms themselves can be formed as the product of factors. For this, consider the first term 4x. This term has two factors, 4 and x, while the second term, 5, is made up of just one factor, that is 5. Now, let's understand coefficient. For this, consider an expression 7xy minus 5x. So, here what are the terms of this expression? 7xy and minus 5x. Factors of 7xy are 7, x and y. And factors of minus 5x are minus 5 and x. Now students, the numerical factor of a term is called the coefficient. So here 7 is the coefficient of first term 7xy and minus 5 is the coefficient of second term minus 5x. Now let's understand what are like terms which are very important to add or subtract algebraic expressions. So when the terms have same algebraic factors, such terms are called like terms. For example, consider two algebraic expressions 2x square minus 3x and 5x square minus 4. Here 2x square and 5x square are like terms because they have same algebraic factors. Next, what are unlike terms? When the terms have different algebraic factors, such terms are called unlike terms. For example, x square minus 5x 
and y square minus 7. Here x square and y square are unlike terms because they have different algebraic factors. Similarly, minus 5x and y square are also unlike terms. Students, we have an interesting working model to understand and learn type of numbers. I would recommend you to watch this video. The link to this video is here on the top and in the description box. Now let's start with the activity. In the first step, take a red colored sheet and paste a green colored sheet on it. Now on this, draw squares of dimension 1 into 1 units as shown here. And then carefully cut out these squares using pair of scissors. In the next step, take another red colored sheet and paste a green colored sheet on it. Now students, draw rectangles of dimension x into 1 on this sheet as shown here. And then again, Carefully cut out these rectangles with the help of pair of scissors. Now students, again take another red colored sheet and paste a green colored sheet on it. And this time we will draw and cut out squares of dimension x into x units on it. Students, we have lot of art integrated activities on integers like addition and subtraction of integers, multiplication and division of integers. So do watch these videos. So we have cut out small squares of dimension 1 into 1 units. Rectangles of dimension x into 1 unit and big squares of dimension x into x unit. Students, in these cutouts, we will use green side to represent positive term and red side to represent negative term. For small square, green side will represent 1 and red side will represent minus 1. In the same way, in rectangles, the green side represents x and red side represents minus x. And in big squares, green side will represent x square and red side will represent minus x square. So now we have done all the preparations. So let's subtract the two algebraic expressions with this activity. We have to subtract x square minus 2x plus 4 from 2x square plus 5x minus 3. Now let's first represent the first expression which is 2x square plus 5x minus 3. First we will represent term minus 3 by putting 3 red small squares. Next we will represent term 5x by putting 5 green rectangles. And then we will represent term 2x square using two green big squares. In the same way, we will represent the second algebraic expression 
which is x square minus 2x plus 4. First, let's represent the term 4 by putting 4 green small squares. Next, let's represent term minus 2x. For this, we will put 2 red rectangles. And then, we will represent term x square by using 1 green big square. Now students, to subtract these algebraic expressions, first let's place the cutouts of these algebraic expressions in such a way that their like terms are below each other. Now we have to invert each cutout of second algebraic expression. It means x square gets converted to minus x square minus x gets converted to plus x and 1 gets converted to minus 1. Now let's count the like terms. So here we have 7 red small squares which means minus 7. Next, count the next like terms and we have 7x. Then in the next term, first we have to cancel the red and green cutouts. That is minus x square and x square. So we are left with only one x square. So the difference of two given algebraic expressions is x square plus 7x minus 7. So students, this is how we can do subtraction of two given algebraic expression with the help of this activity. We also have an activity on how to solve linear equation in one variable. I am sure you would find this video very useful for you. The link to this video is here on the top and in the description box. Now, let's subtract another algebraic expression. We have to subtract 4x square plus 3 from 2x square minus 3x plus 1. So, first let's represent the First algebraic expression which is 2x square minus 3x plus 1. So term 1 can be represented by putting 1 green small square. Next, let's represent term minus 3x by putting 3 red rectangles. And then we can represent term 2x square using 2 green big squares. Now let's represent the second algebraic expression 4x square plus 3. Here term 3 can be represented by putting 3 green squares. And then 4x square will be represented by putting 4 green big squares. Now, to subtract these algebraic expressions, first let's place their cutouts in such a way that their like terms are below each other as shown here. Now students, we have to invert the cutout of second algebraic expression. So it means x square gets inverted to minus x square and plus 1 gets inverted to minus 1. Now let's count the like terms. First we will cancel the red and green cutouts that is plus 1 and minus 1. So here we are left with 
minus 2. Now count the next like term and we get minus 3x. Then in the next term, again we first have to cancel the red and green cutouts that is minus x square and x square. So we are left with minus 2x square. So the difference of two given algebraic expressions is minus 2x square minus 3x minus 2. So students, now I am sure you have understood how to subtract algebraic expressions using this activity. I would suggest you to watch addition as well as multiplication of algebraic expressions which we have covered in separate videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.